Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to talk about this guy right here, the integral of 1 over e to the x plus 1. And we are going to talk about four different ways to integrate this guy. Okay, so the first one is kind of obvious and pretty simple. So we are going to multiply this whole expression by a 1. So let's say this integral is equal to the integral of 1 over e to the x plus 1 times 1. Okay, so what is a 1? A 1 is just something divided by itself. So let's say we are going to multiply by e to the minus x over e to the minus x. And I hope you agree with me that we can do that and it won't change anything. And of course times dx. Okay, in the next step we are going to distribute this e to the minus x over e to the minus x into the numerator and denominator. So what we end up with is just the integral of e to the minus x over 1 plus e to the minus x times dx. Okay, and now we can introduce a new substitution. So let sum u equal to, okay, the denominator right here, so that's 1 plus e to the minus x. That would mean that the u is equal to minus e to the minus x times dx. And now we can plug all of this information in. So as you might notice, this term right here is exactly this one, just with a minus in front. So we can multiply both sides by a minus 1 and minus du would equal to this term right here. Okay, so we can plug this in. So this whole expression is equal to the integral of minus du over u. Okay, we can bring this minus 1 in front and you should know that this integral right here is just a natural log of u. So when we compute this, we end up with the minus ln of u. And now we, of course, have to plug in our u again. And finally, we get the answer minus ln of 1 plus e to the minus x plus some arbitrary constant c. And that was the first answer to the problem. For the next one, we are going to use partial fraction decomposition and some simple substitution. Let's start off with substituting. Okay, at first we want to substitute the denominator once again. So, let sum u equal to the denominator e to the x plus 1. So, when we differentiate that, that would mean that u equals to e to the x times dx. And we now have to find out what this e to the x is. So, e to the x, if we bring plus 1 to the other side, that would mean that e to the x equals to u minus 1. So that would mean that this expression is equivalent to du, um, I'm sorry, dx equals to du over u minus 1. And now we can plug all of this new information into our integral right here. So this expression is equal to the integral of du over u times u minus 1. And as you might notice, that's a pretty ugly fraction right here. So we want to do partial fraction decomposition to make two rational functions out of this one rational function. Okay, so partial fraction decomposition. Okay, so we want to take a look at 1 over u times u minus 1. Okay, so as you might notice, we got two factors right here. So we want to end up with the sum of two fractions. So one fraction blah blah over u plus another fraction blah over u minus 1. Okay, as you might notice, the degree of the polynomial in the denominator right here is just 1. So the degree of the polynomial in the numerator has to be 0. Same for this one. So that's just some constant b up here. Okay, and now we can multiply this whole expression by this big denominator right here. So what we end up with, under the condition that this is an equal to zero of course, one equals to a times, okay. So when we multiply this expression by this rational function, that would mean that those u's cancel out and we have to multiply a times u minus one, so that's a u minus a. Okay, if we multiply this rational function by this term, that would mean that u minus 1 cancels out and it's just plus b times u. Okay, one little observation. You might notice the degree of the polynomial on the left side is zero. So, in order to make this whole expression equal, we have to get rid of everything that's higher than degree zero on the right side. So, that would mean that 
AU plus BU have to equal to zero. So that's our condition. Those U's cancel out and that would mean that B is equal to minus A or A is equal to minus B. Okay, now we can plug all of this in. If we plug this condition in, those two would cancel out and what we end up with is just that one equals to minus A. Okay, so equivalently that would mean that A is equal to minus one and we can plug this condition into here. So that would mean that B is equal to one. And now we can plug all of this stuff into here and then this new expression into our integral. So our integral is equal to the integral of minus one over u plus one over u minus one times du. Okay, that was kind of tedious. So next thing, gladly our integral is linear so we can expand this a bit. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over u minus 1 times du minus the integral of du over u. Okay, so if you've watched my other video, this expression is just equal to the natural log of u minus 1. So the first one is just the ln of u minus 1. Okay, and the next one is minus, once again, the ln of u. So that's the ln of u. Okay, and now we also have to plug in our u again. u equals to e to the x plus 1. So this whole expression is equal to the ln of e to the x plus 1 minus 1 minus the ln of e to the x plus 1. Okay, as you might see, this cancels out, this becomes a zero, and the natural log of e to the x is just the argument right here, x. So in the end, we get x minus the ln of e to the x plus one. Okay, <laughs> and that's nice. And also we can leave this, this doesn't matter, the absolute values because this is positive right here, so that's fine. Okay, and don't forget your c's, <laughs> plus some arbitrary constant. Okay, that has been the second way and it's already a different answer from the first we've got, so it's getting more exotic later on, so stay tuned. The next method isn't quite obvious, so let me write this in a little bit different way at first. Okay, so this whole thing is equal to one over e to the x plus one times dx. Okay, and notice I wrote this one a little bit more to the left. Okay, we are going to use algebraic manipulation. As you might have noticed in the example before, we weren't able to make things cancel out after doing substitution. So in most cases we want something to cancel out, for example, in the numerator when we use some substitution. So it would be extremely nice if we could find a way that most of the stuff cancels out. Okay, so for example, I hope you agree with me that we can add a zero in the numerator and it won't change anything. <clears throat> okay, but what is a zero? For example, we could add something and then subtract it again right after adding it. So that's for example just one plus e to the x minus e to the x. It won't change anything. And now we can use the linearity of the integral Be because we can split this fraction up right here and this is equal to the integral of 1 plus e to the x over 1 plus e to the x times dx minus the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x times dx. And I hope you get my point now because this stuff we cancel out now. So that's just zero. That's great. No, not zero. That's just one. And that's great. Okay. So the first integral right, right here is just x. Okay. So let's write out what we get now. Okay, that's x minus the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x times dx. Okay, and now we can introduce a u substitution just like before and then the numerator will cancel out. So that's absolutely great. So let some um, u equal to 1 plus e to the x. When we differentiate that, that means that the u is equal to e to the x times dx. And this is exactly our expression right here. So what we end up with is just x minus the integral of du over u. And this is once again just natural log of u. So finally that's just x minus the natural log of u. And this is equal to x minus, because we have to plug du in once again, the ln of 1 plus e to the x. 
plus some arbitrary constant c. And once again, we can ignore this absolute values right here because this is positive right here. And that was the third way and now to the most exotic one. For our last and final solution to this integral, we are going to use the great fact that we can split up every function into the sum of an odd and even function. If you don't know what this is all about, just take a look in the description. There will be a link to the corresponding video. Okay, so we are going to take a look at this fraction right here at first. So we are going to observe that 1 over e to the x plus 1 is equal to, okay, we are going to use the fact right here that this is equal to 1 over e to the x plus 1 plus 1 over e to the minus x plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over e to the x plus 1 minus 1 over e to the minus x plus 1 over 2. <laughs> and it's going to be quite a mess, but it will cancel out nicely in the end. So believe in me, please. Okay, so we can bring those fractions together at first. So this is equal to, okay, what do we get? That's e to the minus x plus 1 plus 1 plus e to the x. Okay, over. Now we have to multiply the denominator. So that's e to the minus x times e to the x is just 1 plus, okay, 1 times 1 is just 1. So that's 1 plus 1. e to the x times 1 is just e to the x. And e to the minus x times 1 is just e to the minus x and this whole thing over 2. And as you might notice, the numerator and the denominator in this term are the same, so this is just 1. Okay, and now to the next one. So, plus, and this is nearly the same as this one before, just with a sign change. So, this is e to the minus x plus 1 minus 1 minus e to the x over, okay, the same denominator, so that's 1 plus 1, let's say this is just 2 for simplification purposes, <laughs> 2 plus e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. And now let's see what we get in the end. So this whole thing is equal to, so as you might notice this cancels out, okay, so this is 1 half plus. I will bring the 1 half to the front, so that's 1 half times what fraction? So that's e to the minus x minus e to the x over 2 plus e to the x plus e to the minus x. And now we can plug this new information in. I was using the integrals linearity right here to split this up a bit. So this was our original fraction right here. Okay, so the first integral is kind of easy, that's just 1 half times x. Okay, so what do we get at first? That's just x over 2 plus 1 half. Okay, so we want to int uh, introduce a substitution once again. We want to substitute this denominator right here. So let me do this real quick. So let u equal to 2 plus e to the x plus e to the minus x. So when we differentiate that, that would mean that the u is equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x times dx. Okay, if we plug this in, it wouldn't cancel out completely because hmm, this looks kind of like our numerator just with a sign change. So what we could do, we could factor out a minus one right here. So that would become positive, that would become negative and this whole thing times minus one. Okay, so what we can do, we can bring this minus one to the outside and we can change the sign right here. Okay, that's nice. And now if we plug this in, that would mean that du is just this expression right here. So in the end, this is just the integral of du over u. <laughs> and once again, this is just the natural log of u. So in the end, it's x over two minus one half times the natural log of two, no, of u at first. Okay, and now we have to plug in our u once again. So finally, it's x over two minus one half times the ln of two plus e to the x plus e to the minus x plus some arbitrary constant c. And then we are done, by God, we are done <laughs> once again. So I find this way really cool. And even if this answer looks kind of suspicious, it's 
a valid answer. If you plug in some upper and lower limit, it, it gives you the same answers as with the other ones. So that's kind of nice. And that was the first way uh, I solved this integral. So yeah, I like this way a lot. If you did enjoy this video, then please like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm kind of excited, nervous, I don't know why. Uh, I gained so many subscribers through Black Pen, Red Pen, it's kind of, I don't know why, it's, it's something else. But still, thank you for everything, thank you for your great support. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me, if you want, to your mother, uh, sister, grandmother, if she's into maths, I don't know. And well, see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.